Gufflin Caledon. Madam Speaker, last week I had the opportunity to talk to small businesses in my riding. One owner, Paul, tells me that he was supposed to launch his business on April 1st. Of course, that didn't happen due to COVID, and business has been slow since. He's invested almost half a million dollars in his business, his entire family's life saving. He's not eligible for the wage subsidy. He's not eligible for the rent subsidy because he's a new business. For the sake of Paul and thousands of businesses across the country like his, let's not have talking points. What does the minister have to say that they're going to specifically do to help Paul and save his family and thousands of businesses like his across the country? The Honourable Minister. Thank you. Uh uh, Madam Speaker, and thank you to the Honourable Member for that really important question. Uh, Paul's business and many businesses like those are exactly what we want to do, what we are doing to help them. The Regional Relief uh, and Recovery Fund is, uh, is uh, invested with $1.6 billion uh, across the country through the regional development agencies that are helping businesses like Paul's and many, many others. Thank you.